This month's body signals we are discussing at the clinic is neck pain. So I'm so excited to give you some guidance on how you can help reduce or eliminate this pain that so many Americans are suffering from on a daily basis. Let's first talk about the common causes of neck pain. Now most people think the most common cause is trauma, like a car accident. And yes, a car accident is an excellent way to create neck pain. But surprisingly, the majority of neck pain can be caused by poor head position, basically poor posture. So I want you to think about the posture, the position your head is in throughout the day. The head is as heavy as a bowling ball, and if it's not directly over the spine, but actually leaning forward, pulling down on your neck, you're gonna have neck pain. Let's go through some examples. Have you ever caught yourself bending your neck forward while texting for long periods of time? Yes, most of us have. Do you use phone apps to do most of your tasks, such as banking and shopping and social media, doing the same thing, leaning your head forward for long periods of time? Again, who doesn't? Now, the damage of neck from chronic phone use is so common, it was actually given its own condition called text neck. Now, other examples. How about staring at a computer screen all day with your head in a forward leaning position or watching TV with bad postural position. I think you get the point. The first recommendation is to make sure you get your neck evaluated by a chiropractor because you're most likely suffering from spinal misalignments from chronic poor posture. Now the second recommendation that I wanna spend a few moments on now is the utilization of a safe and effective nutritional product that will help reduce inflammation in the spine, which is gonna reduce your pain and increase your mobility. So here's a quick question. If you could reduce your pain without taking medications that have potentially harmful side effects, is that what you would prefer? If yes, keep listening. Now it's important to understand that the pain medications you may take, they don't go to the cause of the pain and remove the cause, allowing your pain to just go away. Pain medications actually go to the brain and block your ability to simply feel the pain. So pain medications would be like seeing a house on fire because you see smoke coming out of the windows and saying, I wanna stop this. So you go to the home and you close the windows so you don't see the smoke. Yes, you got rid of the smoke, but you didn't solve the problem. Now the problem of the misalignment of the spine from chronically poor posture, as we mentioned ago, is that you can build up swelling or inflammation. Now let's talk about reducing the inflammation. Your body should have two essential oils in it. Essential meaning your body needs them to survive. There are omega-3 oils and omega-6 oils. Omega-3 oils are found in salmon, sardines, nuts and seeds, as well as grass-fed meats. Omega-6 oils are common in the very common American foods, breads, pastas, and dairy, and conventional meats you buy from the store that were fed corn. Now the ratio of the omega-6 oil to the omega-3 oil should be a one-to-one -one ratio, or as high as two-to-one. But if the omega-6 levels get too high from the typical American diet, your body will undergo excessive inflammation. You may be asking, what does this have to do with my neck pain? Well, if your neck is misaligned and inflamed, the inflammation could get 10 times worse if these oils are not in proper balance. Remember, more inflammation equals more pain. Let's continue. We said the ratio between omega-6 and omega-3 should be a one-to-one -one ratio, maybe as high as a two-to-one ratio, with omega-6 being potentially twice as much as omega-3. However, the American diet is about 20-to-one ratio, or as high as 30-to-one ratio. Yes, that's not a mistake. 10 to 20 times more omega-6 oils in the diet. This makes the average American a living inflammation machine. No wonder so many Americans are dealing with chronic pain. Now keep in mind, when these oils aren't balanced, you not only have high inflammation, but a higher risk of heart disease, digestive disorders, allergies, joint pain, and even mental disorders like depression and poor concentration. So what's the solution? Clean up your diet and supplement with high quality fish oils. Now the key phrase here is high quality. The market is full of rancid fish oils on the shelf and that are not also not filtered for mercury, which is common in fish. Now we're gonna be talking about the secrets of picking 
of fish oil so you don't do more harm than good at our next workshop. The good news is the workshop is about correcting your neck pain, but will also gain amazing insight on how to pick the right fish oil to reduce your pain and increase your mobility. Now, looking forward to seeing you at the next workshop. This is one that you're definitely not going to want to miss. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you at our next Body Signals seminar going on this month. Space is limited. We'll see you soon.